the quail fire in Alpine, Utah started on July 3rd. It was finally still being fought, but most of the fire has been put out by Friday, July 6th. 350 homes were evacuated in Alpine, Utah. No homes were destroyed, no lives lost. Firefighters from Alpine City, state and federal firefighters, including hot shots and helicopters and air tankers, were here battling this blaze for two days. Hey, what do you have to say to uh, Secretary Vilsack? Thank you very much for saving our houses. It's saving our lives and our Crops property and animals. Everything just Thank not you. burned. It's good. You're amazing. We love you. Firefighters, we're the Kirkland family, and thank, thank you for saving our home. We love you. Woo! Mr. Vilsack and all of the firefighters who came and saved our community and our homes. We have four small children and we had to evacuate very quickly. The fire was moving, moved five blocks within one minute uh, on the mountainside. We had to move very quickly, throw the babies in the car and get out of the house as fast as we could and everything was saved. And we are so thankful and my children are so thankful too. Can you guys say thank you? Say thank you, thank you. Hi, we're the Moran family from Alpine, Utah. <laughs> We just want to say thank you to all those of you who helped save our home and those of our neighbors. Hi, I'm Julie Christensen. I'm from Alpine, Utah. And this is right next to my house. My house is just 30 feet over there. And our home was in the direct path of the fire. And it should not be here. It should be burned in the ground. It should not be And if it were not for the firemen, they made some very specific decisions that changed the course of our lives. Our house should not be there. And they were spraying our house from our backyard through the smoke, and they couldn't even see our house if they had not done that. It would not be And we were so thankful for all of the firefighters and everybody who came, it would have, our lives would have not been wonderful. So now life is wonderful. Thank you so much. I have nothing to complain about. Our house is here. Thank you so much. This is Geraldine. She's about 80 years old. And she is really, 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 really glad she didn't get burned up. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Very, very grateful. We're always grateful for 
having this special tour in there before the 4th of July, even though we were evacuated from, from our home and returned to our beautiful slave only because we were being the wonderful efforts and the great work they did to save actually standing on the deck of our home and uh, when we left on Tuesday we weren't sure we'd ever see it again. Only by the grace of God and the incredible work of the firefighters that we have to come to. So despite the fact that there's nothing we can do to thank you enough from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, we're the Shippens and we just want to thank you for coming up and sending two of our firefighters here. Hi, Mr. Vilsack, on behalf of my family here in Alpine, Utah, we wanted to thank you for everything you did for our community. We love our community, and as you can see, part of it has burnt. Our homes were spared. We want to thank you so much. And Marty, thank you for setting this up. And someday, I'll meet you.